Hello there, how's it going? So last month I decided to take the uh, Azure Data Engineer Associate Certification exam. So um, this video is going to be about how I prepared for the exam and the tools that I used to prepare. So this is how the certificate look like, right? And um, the, the first thing I did was uh, prepare for the exam, right? Uh, one thing you must know is I do have previous knowledge of uh, Microsoft uh, Azure uh, as a data engineer. I've used it on uh, projects previously, right? So when you go to the uh, data engineer associate uh, 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 page, right? If you see, so if you type this one on Microsoft as well, right? So if you navigate to this page, um, you will see the details about the exam. Um, the, you have an option to prepare for the exam, practice for the exam, and take the exam. So the first thing I did was prepare for the exam, right? So when you if you click prepare for the exam, right, it will take you to uh, this page, right? So, um, so these are the overview of the exam, right? So these are the um, things that we need to learn about. I've taken some of the um, courses, I've completed them, right? You can see the course syllabus here. Uh, you can see these ones are marked as completed. So if I scroll down, um, there are some that I didn't take, you know, as I said earlier, I do have previous knowledge of the uh, Microsoft uh, uh, resources for data engineer, right? So, or services, I mean. So, um, I recommend you go through these courses and use them to prepare for the exam, especially if you don't have crowd knowledge of uh, Microsoft Azure uh, services uh, for data engineer. So go through these courses, take them, and after that, the next thing you need to do is basically uh, practice for the exam. So if you click practice for the exam, right, it will take you to this page. Um, and ask you to take practice assessments. So if you cl click on the take practice assessment, it will take you to questions, multiple choice questions from one to 50, right? So for example, it said you have a solution that transforms data in an ETL process. The solution includes a column named full address that contains address data in the following format, street address, city, state, postcode. You need to retrieve the street address. Which T-SQL transact SQL statement should you use? So uh, you need to be aware of uh, left uh, as well as a char index, right? The char index is going to return an integer. So if you use a uh, this one, chart index, comma, then provide the full address. The one we want to get is the street address, right? So if we say left full address, then provide the comma here. So if you count this, uh, the, the number of characters here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think it's up to 14, right? So if you say, uh, if you put comma here, right, that what will be returned here is going to be, uh, for, for this particular one, it's going to be the comma instead of the, the street address, right? But because digits that will be here, the child that's written is going to be 15, right? So, but 
for this one, uh, the digits, the time that's written is 15, then subtract one from 15, that will give you 14. So it will return only the street address and uh, ignore the comma. So this should be the solution. So if I check the answer. So you have an option to check the answer and it will give you details regarding the answer, right? So you can click on the next um, question. And uh, this one is, so you need to read through this one and try to find a solution for it, right? And I've um, gone through this one before. I think it's part of the questions I've taken before. So this is basically uh, a, an ETL solution within Azure Data Factory, right? And you are making use of HD Insight. And this is the uh, pipeline uh, JSON. Uh, and if you create an Apache Hive script, it's going to be like this. So within this solution, what they are asking is, what would be uh, the path for the output here, basically? So you need to run the script as an activity in the data factory pipeline. The solution must write the output of the script to a folder named devices in a container named data in the storage account. So basically, you need to write the data to Azure Data Lake uh, Storage. Uh, probably chain two, right? So, uh, or blob storage. So they're asking you, what is the correct path you need to provide as output here? So these are the options. So you can provide the HTTP uh, data, data STG, right? The data here is, uh, is the container and the, 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 uh, the storage name is data STG. Uh, once you have a uh, data at data stg, you know this data stg is going to be the storage name, but you can use HTTP here. Instead, you need to use uh, uh, WASB. Um, and if, if it's uh, Azure Data Lake uh, Gen 2, you may have to use uh, ABF, ABFSS, I think, Azure Cloud File uh, 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 System or something. So, but this is a, a blob storage. You can see it's a blob.core.windows. Uh, but if it's ABFS, it's going to be uh, uh, DFS.core.windows, I think. So, um, so this would be the correct answer. And uh, it's not going to be this one because you need to write a container as the storage name. So this would be the correct answer. And you move to the next question. And this is also about, this is about Azure Synapse uh, Analytic Pipeline. So, so in Azure Synapse, uh, we have a an option to create a pipeline just that we can do in um, Azure Data Factory. So this question is about um, uh, mapping data flow. It says you uh, plan to, uh, use the data flow to read data from text line text file. You need to create the columns from each line of the text file. The solution must ensure that the data follow flow only writes three of the column to a CSV. Which three type of tasks you add to the data flow activity? So the first thing is you need to create the column from each line of the text file. So basically, you need to select the column, right? And the the solution must ensure that data flow only writes three columns to the uh, uh, to a CSV file. So you need to have a sync where you need to write to, and um, to get the column from each line of the text file. So you need to try use derive to derive the column, select the column, and then write the column to the sync. So these are the uh, uh, solution. So basically, you need to go through this question and answer to uh, 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 um, answer, provide answers. If you don't uh, 
get the correct answer, you can check the uh, answer here by clicking the check your answer button. And then you will get detailed detailed explanation on the uh, uh, answer. Then you have a link that you can click, uh, which will take you to a page where you can get more information regarding the answer. So, I mean, once you're done with this, right, you can go ahead and schedule your exam. So make sure you are able to get over 80% score on the questions and practice uh, multiple times and make sure you are above 80% in each of the uh, 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 practice that you, you took. And so once you've done that, you can go ahead and schedule the exam, right? And when, when, while scheduling the exam, so I had an option to buy a practice test. Then, so I bought the test. So um, the, the, the practice test is on um, measure up. So um, you need to take the practice test multiple times and make sure you are above 80% score. But here it will ask you to uh, begin the test, then you have two options. There are two practice mod, uh, mode, right? Uh, the, the first mode is the certification mode, just like the actual certification exam. The second mode is this one. You can request the correct answers and change the testing environment, right? Uh, so I use this one first, right? And try to um, understand the explanation on each of the each of the answers, right? And after I'm done with this one, I changed to this one, right? So this is like actually exam. Um, if you don't have prior knowledge of our uh, show uh, resources for or services for data engineer, I recommend you go through the courses on Microsoft uh, Microsoft Azure and make sure you understand. Uh, some of the concept and practice for the exam, I'm sure you will be able to pass it. So yeah, that is it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and leave a comment. Have a lovely day and goodbye.